City leaders are sharing more details about how a potential United soccer stadium would fit in at Balloon Fiesta Park. That includes their plan to address the loss of parking spaces. News 13's Annalisa Pardo shows you. We're getting a better picture of how this and this could coexist here. Behind us is the future location if council and the EPC approves it and these and the team United uh, do the financing. This will be the location of the United Stadium. If approved, the stadium would go on this east parking lot where power lines already prevent balloons from flying, saying the stadium will be lower than those power lines. You don't want balloons that can't fly over the power lines, you know, or, or getting caught in the stadium itself. The stadium will take up 280 parking spots, but the city has a plan. Adding 1,100 new spaces to the north and northeast, that means the park will actually gain 820 parking spots. At the end of the day, we end up actually with more parking spaces than we lose because of the footprint of the facility. While the team is funding the stadium, the city says it will invest by adding infrastructure upgrades like plumbing, pitching it as a win-win for United and Balloon Fiesta Park, along with the entire community. We will have a stadium that can obviously function and operate here, and we'll have a enhanced amenities that will make the park even better for the future, especially for balloon fiestas and other events the city has here. Uh, Annalise Sapardo, KRQE, News 13. City Council still needs to vote on whether to approve the lease agreement. While there is no estimate yet on how much the infrastructure upgrades will cost, the city says it already has $4.5 from the state legislature for Balloon Fiesta Park improvements.